Lipase acts on proteins and converts them into peptones. Lipase acts on fats and converts them into fatty acids and glycerol. Lipase acts on proteins and converts them into peptones. Lipase acts on fats and converts them into fatty acids and glycerol. Amylase acts on carbohydrates and converts them into maltose. Now we can see in the small intestine. The walls of the small intestine secretes intestinal juice called as sucrase entericus. It has got two enzymes. One is pepsidase and the other one is sucrase. Pepsidase acts on peptides and converts them into amino acids. Lipsin acts on proteins and converts them into peptones. Amylase acts on carbohydrates and converts them into maltose. Lipase acts on fats and converts them into fatty acids and glycerol. The walls of the small intestine secretes intestinal juice called as sucrase intricus. It has got two enzymes. One is peptidase and the other one is sucrase. Pepsidase acts on peptides and converts them into amino acids. Sucrase acts on cane sugar or sucrose and converts them into glucose. Thus, in the small intestine here, the smaller molecules are further broken down into still further smaller molecules. The, smaller in, the small intestine is here having a finger-like projections called as villi. Thus, finger-like projections which are helpful for absorption of the food. It has got the network of blood vessels and blood vessels and limb. So, firstly, the digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, that is, by the finger-like projections called as villi, and then by the blood vessels and by the limb. Thus, here in the small intestine, the food is digested food is absorbed by the villi in the small intestine. The undigested food with, along with the waste products are sent to the large intestine. From the large intestine, it is expelled through the anus. This process is called as defecation.